Hi, I'm Cameron Kenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can create an HTML5 file uploader and not only create that HTML5 file uploader in your web page, but also put it onto an Apache web server and even create the backing component, a little PHP script file that's actually going to be able to handle that file upload and save that file locally on the server. As you can see, I've got my Apache web server running right here. It's just part of a Bitnami stack install of OS class, but I assure you it's just a regular Apache 2 server with a good old htdoc folder right there. Now, I want to write some PHP code that's going to upload some files into that folder. In fact, actually, I want to upload it into a folder named upload. So I'll create that folder right there. And in order to do that, well, the first thing I need to do is create a new PHP file that is going to basically act as the HTML page, which will be sent to a browser and allow people to upload files through their browser. I'm just going to call that uploader.php. Run that on uploader.php save that file in the htdocs folder and just open that up and you know there's really not going to be too much php that goes on in here at all actually you're just gonna i'm gonna start off with the the basic doc type and the basic body yeah you know even in in this i've just got basic html here it's really not that much php in fact no php because the key to the uploader is really just this form object here. And so if you all of this is just standard HTML, this is standard HTML too, but it is going to target the upload.php file on the server. And really that's where the PHP upload logic is going to go. It's going to do that through a post. And this is pivotally important. The encryption type, the encoding type has to be multi-part form data. If it's not, the file upload's not going to work. So make sure that if you want to do file upload that you've specified this in the form tag. Furthermore, the input type has to be file. Notice the type is file, the name is file. The file is what's the name file is going to be used to um, obtain the data on the server. And then of course we've got a button there that's just for the submission. But this is the key right here. That's your form element right there that uh, specifies multi-part as the upload type and it invokes it through post and it calls the upload.php file. If you've got that, well, then it's time to dust off your PHP skills and create that PHP file on the server. And that's gonna be called upload.php. Now this is gonna be a file that has just a smidgen more PHP inside of it. Again, I wanna make sure that upload.php is the action and indeed it is. I'm gonna edit that file and of course, I'm going to just start off with the basic HTML and body tags and maybe terminate with the body and HTML tags. And then all my PHP goodness is going to go right in here. And I'm going to start it off and I'm going to finish it as well. And the part in the middle is really what's interesting. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get that information that is sent to the server from that form in that input field named file. And the way I do it is this. I go, I say, I'm going to hold a, in a variable on the server here named file name. I'm going to get that file from the upload along with the name of the file from the upload and just hold it locally. So this gives me a reference to the name of the file that was uploaded. I then want to save it into my uploads folder. So I then create a variable that says the location that I want to save this file to is going to be upload. That's the upload folder over there, slash, and then whatever the file name is of the file coming in. So that gives me a reference to the location where I want to save it. It gives me essentially a reference to the name of the file that's coming in. Then I use the move uploaded file function and I move that file that's coming in, copy that file that I've got in memory essentially, it's been uploaded to the server, save it to that location there that I've specified that's on my local server, and when that's done, I echo out, hey, file uploaded successfully. You know, maybe I'll put that in some paragraph tags there just to emphasize the fact that, yeah, it is happening on the server, and if it's 
doesn't work properly, I guess we'll put in bold. Hey, there was an error uploading the file, but I don't think there will be because all of this code looks golden to me. I'm gonna save that file, make sure it's saved. I'm gonna close it. I am then going to bring up a file with this PHP uploader in it. There it is right there, localhost slash uploader.php. I'm actually gonna up, oh, double click on that upload file just so I can see what's going on here. I'm gonna click choose file. There's a nice little file of my uh, Viper there. There's a friend, my friend Callie. I think I'll upload her file. Click on upload. It says file uploaded successfully. That's the result of the PHP file. And there's Callie Jones smiling at us. I think I might even pick a photo of that Viper there and upload it as well. It's the way I feel every time I pick up the keys. That's uploaded. The back button. Hmm. I'll take a look here and maybe even a little picture of that book there. Anyways, that shows you that indeed this is working properly and working successfully. And that's all there is to writing a pure PHP based upload. I got a couple other tutorials and I do it with jQuery, Ajax, JavaScript, struts and HTML. But if you want something really simple that works on the Apache web server, you can't beat a simple PHP file. And there you go, that's how easy it is to create an HTML5 file uploader and also create a PHP resource that can handle it and save it to the file system on the server. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over in there. We got lots of great tutorials on HTML, Java, JavaScript, PHP, DevOps, anything that has to do with enterprise software development. It's part of our ballywick over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.